You are watching PunkTV.ca. Streaming videos on demand 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Now with over 15,000 assets from videos to interviews, photos and reviews of CDs, movies, and hot new products. PunkTV.ca is your web TV magazine. So keep watching PunkTV.ca. Get wet like the sweat on my face cause I rush the door Step right in, grab the mic, go and do it again Hey yo, give me that beat to rock it right now Give me, give me that beat to bang loud You wanna meet the deadline, meet the deadline Time's almost up, ain't no next time Meet the deadline so we can get our shine Y'all gon' read the headlines Now hey buddy, rock, 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 rock or Just rock with me, you wanna rock, 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 rock or Just rock with me, come on Chip, yo she baby I'm with you Sometimes I get so caught up in my life, I just... Ben Martin of PunkTV.ca here with Yoshi. How's it going, man? Pretty good, man. How you doing? Tell me the origins of Yoshi as an artist. As an artist? Well, I started um, writing poetry in high school, um, you know, around my freshman year. And then I progressed later into poetry slams. And then at the same time I was doing the poetry, I was also, like, you know, started, you know, getting my... Um, starting rapping. Uh, that was during, the, like, 10th grade year in high school. Uh, that progressed to me, um, you know, joining a couple groups, Native Immigrants, uh, which is like a Christian hip-hop group. Did a lot of stuff in the church, in the community. Uh, started doing talent shows. And became very successful in that. Later went into college, uh, getting in the poetry, uh, the poetry slam scene. While uh, also did a hip-hop rock band by the name of Open Mic Affiliates. Uh, very short-term type thing, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that later kind of like moved me into just doing my own thing just because I couldn't rely on people, you know. And uh, at the same time, my brother, he was a musician, um, you know, professional musician at the age of 14, and then later progressed into, uh, you know, working as a producer. So he, you know, figured we're brothers, you know, might as well do the music together. Yeah, so he started making a lot of my beats. I started performing them, got up, getting a lot of respect and, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of love from the people. So. I'ma praise you in the midst of one in the bang like a black Uzi with clips cause I'm going down like when Titanic cruise ships sunk in a world of sin asking you for your wisdom saying All I need is time. You started as a sort of like do you have Christian content still in your in your raps now? Yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not a like, gospel artist but I mean right, right. like everything's pretty much positive fun sure. you know I'm a human I go through stuff I talk about the reality Rather than try to force something upon people, you know. So also, I just like love and just you know, just just good good music, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, real. what do you think of like the current like gangster rap scene? Um, I think it's just uh, like at a point in time it was cool because like you know that's what that, that was the thing, and you see the shifts in hip hop. Sure. And but you know as of like last year and like you know recently it was just like it's getting oversaturated. You know, just too many people trying to do that. You know, like I, I'm from like. I grew up in the hood and the suburbs, and like you know, I've seen I've seen all types of people. Yeah. Although I'm not a gangster, you know what I'm saying at all. You can see, um, but like it's just too much of that, you know. If it was like if that's all you're gonna hear, like it, uh, too much of anything, in my opinion, is just kind of like more, you know what I'm saying. So all that one two snap stuff, it's cool, but it's just like it's too much of that, you know what I'm saying. With the gangster stuff, I see cats in the suburbs talking about I'ma bust your ass, I'ma bust this and that when they don't even do that, you know. So I think it's just too too much people not. Being themselves, not being real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, who are your lyrical influences? Um, most Def, Saul Williams, Talib Kweli, Common, Jay Z, Biggie, Nas, Lupe Fiasco, um, Big L. Yeah, some. Close to your grace when it gets hard, but I know my call gonna fulfill it. I'm living to witness to them all, young and old delight. Hearts cold like ice, go and leave it in your hands like a roll of the dice. I spent a minute trying to search for cures, then you clean my soul like a detergent. Uh, there's a lot of talented hip hop artists coming out of Michigan, uh, oh, yeah. like Eminem and D12 and, yeah. and, and tons. Like yeah. those are mainstream guys, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This uh, is a lot of, okay. yeah. Who else? Who else? We look out for coming out from Michigan. Uh, definitely look out for my boy Buff One. He's from Ann Arbor. Yeah. He uh, got like four and a half um, stars and or afros or whatever. And OK Player and like URB Magazine and stuff. That's my dude. Uh, Athletic Mike Lee. They're pretty dope. That's his crew. Who else? Uh, one below. He's blown up all over. It's big time. Um, Elzai, you know, Slum Village. Um, 
Yeah, myself, Yoshi, of course. Totally. And uh, there's a whole bunch of other cats. Don Juan, P.O., uh, J-Fab. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of cats. Do you currently have an album out? Um, actually, it's getting, it's going to be put out. It's dropping next month, we're looking at. July is the release date. What's so, it called? Um, I'm actually coming up with that this week. Like, I need to come up with a name, like, any, as soon as possible. Any tentative title? No, no, no. I have, like, a billion ideas, yeah. but I want something real simple. Nothing too long, you know, something yeah. just, just real catchy. But, uh, so, yeah, yeah, that'll be dropping out pretty soon. Definitely. And what, um, what, So, yeah, just the songs vary. Um, yeah. and, and did your brother produce this album? He produced just about all the tracks except two tracks. There's only going to be, like, 11 joints. Right. Real short, but every track is a, is a nice, solid banger. Nice. So. Uh, who produced the other two tracks? Uh, one of my boys, Trey Styles from Athletic Mike Lee, Lab Text, and then this other cat. We're in the... Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm getting this track from his, his name is Nevin Thomas. He's from LA, yeah. but a sweet producer. Cool. So, um, are there any guest appearances on the album? Yeah, we got um, we got got my boy Rafael Casal, who's like a HBO Def Poetry Jam uh, National Poetry Slam uh, champion, dope lyricist. Um, he's from Cali. Got my boy Buff One of Athletic Mike Lee. Got uh, Darian Brockington, who's a singer. You might have heard him on like the Little Brother CDs. Okay, yeah. yeah, he's real dope doing the track with him and uh, uh, Darrell Johnson out of a group called Hot Sauce in Detroit yep. real dope singer um, my little sister Raina Lyon be on the lookout for her she's very dope singer um, who else that's about it that's about it I have a So what's next for you after the album drops? Uh, I want to tour, man. I want to tour the world and just get my music out there. Cause yeah. I mean, I've been getting love from like everybody, all the fans and people everywhere. Everywhere we go, it's like get love, you know. It's good music. My boy C4 on the ones and twos, he holds me down every time. My boy Relly Rel, we all put a great show together. Cool. So uh, yeah. And when can we expect you back up in Canada? Um, I'm actually thinking of possibly moving here. Oh, nice. I'm looking at either here, Chicago, or yeah. New York. I love Toronto. It's only four and a half hours away from Ann Arbor where I'm from. Sure. So I like coming up to here. It's very culturally diverse, you know. So right. um, I don't know, man. I might be here in two weeks. Who knows? Like, <laughs> cool. I drive here sometimes when I get a weekend off yeah. from work. Yeah. I love it here. So Totally. Yeah. Um, there's two questions that punktv.ca always asks. Okay. And the first one is, have you had any of the following experiences? Have you seen a ghost, seen a UFO, or seen the face of God? <laughs> no. I want to see a, a UFO one day. Or alien, you know. I always found that yeah. pretty interesting. Definitely. <laughs> and the last question is, what would your fans be most surprised to learn about Yoshi? Um, damn, most surprised. Um, <laughs> trying to think of something. Hmm. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm actually a genius. I don't know if people know that, but Fair I'm enough. really a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I can come up with things really fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <exactly. laughs> <All right. laughs> Indeed. All right, cool, yeah, man. Exactly. That's cool. it. Thanks. Right. Appreciate no it. No problem. Rock! Watch punktv.ca for all the best modern rock videos and interviews.